Okay. Well, if I'm the president, what's the president doing in this dump, huh? No, oh, you've done some redecorating, sir. <laughs> <laughs> nice helicopter. It's yours, sir. Okay, look. The last thing I remember was being at the Piper's Pub with my girlfriend. She asked me what I thought about seeing other people, and I told her I'd get back to her after I had 30 beers. <laughs> There's really not much more to the story, sir. You got pissed drunk, ran for president, and won. How long have I been drunk? You've just started your second term. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're saying the people of America elected a drunk man president? And then re-elected him. <laughs> is impossible. My name is David Herman. I failed high school twice. I butter bagels for a living. How in the hell would anyone elect me president? Well, I think people found you kind of refreshing, sir. I mean, you are pretty upfront with your views. I don't have any views. Maybe not now, sir, but when you get in front of a TV camera with a bottle of Jack Daniels, you can be extremely opinionated. <laughs> You've changed America. How? Well, you ended the war against crime with your brilliant give us your guns or we'll blow your freaking heads off, Bill. <laughs> and you won the war against drugs with your brilliant give us your drugs or we'll blow your freaking heads off campaign. I actually said freaking? No, sir, but I'm a Mormon. <laughs> Look, I am the first to admit that America isn't the swiftest country in the world, but this is absolutely... People were skeptical at first, sir, but when you gave your famous bitch slap to America speech, they really started to listen. So I just get drunk and people listen. Yes, basically that's it, sir. Your campaign slogan was, hey, America, last call. What does that mean? I don't know, sir, but it was sure a hell of a lot catchier than four more with Clinton and Gore. Oh, God. It's like a nightmare. Actually, no, sir. In five short years, you put men on Mars and acquired three new states. Three new states. Cuba, Saskatchewan, and Germany. And how exactly does one go about acquiring three new states? Well, with Cuba, you just simply woke up one morning, went to the UN, and told the people, and I'm quoting here, Cuba's now part of the United States. Anybody got a problem with that? And nobody had a problem with that. Well, the ambassador of France had certain objections, but that ended when you asked him to step outside. Saskatchewan was a straight-up trade with Canada. What would we give him? Aerosmith. I see. <laughs> and when you say Germany, that's Germany as in Germany, Germany, right? Oh, yes, you won Germany in World War III. World War III only lasted 20 minutes, and it ended with you smashing a bottle over the chancellor's face. But uh, perhaps your greatest achievement, sir, was your cure for cancer. How did I cure cancer? Well, you took nine of the heads of the world's largest corporations and gave them all cancer. Within seven months, we had four different cures. So I'm like the perfect president. Actually, no, sir. Alcoholism's become a big problem. Oh, well, no kidding. Well, wait, wait. What do I do now? Have some breakfast. No, I mean, what do I do now that I'm sober? Have some breakfast. Breakfast, of course, being a bottle of gin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then what? Well, then at 12 o'clock, you've challenged the Speaker of the House to a pissing contest. <laughs> After that, you're taking the missus for a joyride in Air Force One. Who am I married to? Winona Ryder. Ah! No kidding. <laughs> no kidding, sir. All right, you know what? Cancel the pissing contest, hand me that bottle of gin, and send for the First Lady. Done. <laughs> and, uh, Mitchell? Yes, sir. Don't tell anyone you saw me this way, okay? Who'd believe me? Oh, yeah. <laughs>